Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about difference between the long-range PoE switch and long-range PoE standard. The first question first, why we need to have this long-range equipment? The TCP IP network is limited to about 328 feet 100 meter over the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable. When the distance between the edge device such as IP camera, router, and your NVI is beyond 328 feet, the signal will start dropping. In this case, we can use the long-range device such as switch or PoE standard to repeat the data network before it starts dropping. Yes, I'm talking about the data network because this equipment, it never repeats the power. The power cannot be regenerated after it lost, it will lost forever. And here I got the long-range PoE switch and this is the long-range PoE standard. Both devices use very similar technology to build it. It can reach about 1,500 feet continue run. What's that supposed to mean? I think it's better for me to run a quick test and then we explain later. Okay, this is the IP camera and here we got the long range PoE switch. This is the four port long range PoE switch but only port one and port number two can support long range. Port three and port four just provide a regular distance. And port five, port five, port six is the uplink port. The power source has been built in. Okay, I'm going to place this switch just next to the network video recorder. All right now, let me pop the switch. I need this short punch code to link the network video recorder to one of the uplink port. Okay, let's just put the last port. All right. This is the PoE adapter. I will place this PoE adapter next to the camera and explain why we need this PoE adapter. Now let me bring up the 1000 feet cable. Okay, I will connect to the long range port, just port number one. Connect second end to the input port of the PoE stand. Okay, this is input port. Then I will use the short punch code to link the PoE standard to the camera. All right, once I make the connection, you can see the both indicators on. It will take a while before we can see the camera online on the monitor. I think the camera is live now. Yes, it's live now. It's the motorized zoom camera, so we need to zoom in zoom now to find the, find the best focus. This is the thing I try to say. You see, this is continue run, 1,000 feet K5 Ethernet cable. We don't need to put any PoE extender at the middle of the cable to repeat the data. It's the continue run between the PoE switch and the PoE extender. So unlike the regular PoE extender, you always need to place the PoE extender before 328 feet because the signal will start dropping, right? Remember what we mentioned? But in this new solution, there's no need. It will be the continue run between the PoE extender and PoE switch and the PoE standard. I know you may have another question, why we need to put one PoE standard just next to the camera? You say this is the long range PoE switch, right? Yes, but if you understand the signal, they always two wait. The PoE switch need to send the data to the camera and the camera will return the data to the PoE switch. So even this switch has a long range chipset built in, but for the camera, it's just a regular camera. It cannot reach it cannot reach up to 300, over 328 feet without breaking the TCP IP protocol. So we always need to have the period extender sitting next to the camera or the router to return the signal. That's the way we can create a wrong run. It's also easy to under understand if you have a second IP camera, you will need to have second PoE extender. All right, this is about the wrong run PoE switch. Here I got the wrong run PoE extender. Technically, they, it's almost the same. It has the long-range chipset built in. So if we place two PoE standard both ends, one next to the camera, one next to the PoE switch, we also can achieve up to 1,500 feet continue run between the first PoE standard and the second PoE standard. So you may think in what kind of application we will need these two PoE standard. Let's say if you have the regular PoE switch and you don't want to change your switch, uh, you can take a close look at this, just 24 channel PoE switch. This is the regular PoE switch, it can only reach up to 328 feet for each port. After adding this 
after adding these two PoE standards, we can turn the regular PoE switch to long-range PoE switch and reach up to 1,500 feet continuum between your regular switch and your edge device. Another application, just like this PoE NVR, the switch already built into the NVR. In that case, you may don't need the new switch, or you just cannot use the new switch if the NVR already has the integration with the switch. So we also can add the PoE standard just next to the PoE NVR and extend the PoE network to your IP camera. And there's one last thing. Is it what with this solution what with the router? This is the data network, it doesn't need the PoE. Yes, but we still need another device called PoE splitter. We need to put the PoE splitter after the PoE standard. Then we connect the PoE splitter to the router. The reason is because they are always power handshaking. This long range PoE solution, it need to work with the PoE device. But this is the non-PoE equipment, right? That's the reason why we need the PoE splitter before the router. All right. That's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.